Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Yali Madar. Today we will discuss Surah Muhammad 47, Ayat 15. Jannat jiska parhez garun se vada kiya jata hai. Uski sifat ye hai ke usme paani ki nehre hai. Jo bo nahi karega. Or dood ki nehre hai jiska maza nahi badlega. Or sharab ki nehre hai jo peene walon ke liye lazzat hai. Or shahid musfan ki nehre hai. Or un ke liye हर किस्म के मेवे हैं और उनके परवरदिगार की तरफ से मगफिरत उनकी तरह है जो हमेशा दोजख में रहेंगे और जिनको खोलता हुआ पानी पिलाया जाएगा तो उनकी आंतरियों को काट डालें द पैराबल ऑफ द गार्डन दैट हैज बीन प्रॉमिस टू द रेवरेंट देयर इन लाई रिवर्स ऑफ वाटर इनकरप्टेबल रिवर्स ऑफ मिल्क हुज फ्लेवर डज नॉट चेंज रिवर्स ऑफ वाइन डिलीशियस फॉर दोस हु इंबाइब एंड रिवर्स ऑफ प्यूरिफाइड हनी Therein they partake of every fruit and of forgiveness from their Lord. So let's take first few terms and then we'll talk about the rivers. The number one, I'm going to read this in Urdu. Parezgar logon ke liye jannat ka vada kiya gaya hai. Now the question is, what is jannat? Being Ismaili, we all know that imam is our jannat and we all are in imam's jannat. And how do we know that? It's because of the kulia. وَكُلَّ شَيْنْ أَسَيْنَا هُ فِي إِمَامِ مُبِينَ Everything is encompassed in Imam. Now when we say that, that everything is encompassed, that means that an atheist is also in him. So how can that be, that we say that we are in Imam's Jannat, as well as this atheist are too? So the question is that Imam, being the Imam for the whole universe, Imam al-Nas, and then he's Imamul Muttaqeen. And this Jannat has been promised to those who are Muttaqoon. The Arabic word is Muttaqoon, which has come from a uh, word Taqwa, which means pure, Parhezgar. So now, in the worldly life, when we are saying that we are in Imam's Jannat, the question is how we are in Imam's Jannat. Sultan Muhammad Shah, Mawla's farman is, may our souls be sacrificed on this imam. He says that you have been given birth in Ismaili religion with love. We had love on your souls. That's why you were given birth in this religion. And imam always says that you are always in my heart and in my thoughts. You are in my prayers. The connection of us with imam, how is it? He is our spiritual father. And the connection is spiritual. And it is through a link. And we know the link is Meazam. It is only through this link that we are in the Jannat of Imam. And we all know the importance of this link. There is a farman which is, says that Hakiki uh, khushi ki kunji sirf ibadat hai. The uh, key to true happiness is only ibadat. <coughs> so this ibadat is done through this link Isme Azam. Heaven, this Jannat is being promised to those who are Muttaqeen. Now there is no word like Abid or Alim. Why am I saying these two words? So we understand this better. If a person only takes Isme Azam and does the Ibadat, he will be Abid. And we also have Farmans where people have, people have approached Imam saying that we have done this Bandagi like for 40 years, but we have not seen Noor. Right? We have not seen Noor. So people can be Abid, but they may not reach to Noor. And then Imam talks about all the Amal. On the other hand, if a person is intellectual, he keeps reading and getting knowledge and you know going further in knowledge, then also he does not meet the criteria of Muttaqeen. Why? We have the example of uh, Iblis, who had so much of knowledge, but... He was thrown out of the heaven. So when we are reading these verses, we, when we look at the words, they have a lot more like in-depth meaning. So this heaven has been promised to those who are muttaqoon. Now having said that, let's go into these four types of river. The first river is actually river of water. And I'm going to quote Pir Nasir Khusro. He talks about, he gives the tawil, beautiful tawil of this verse. When Allah wanted to create this world, what did he do? He said, kun, and it became. What became? The question is, what became? 
the universal intellect came into existence. From the divine word, the kaluma, universal intellect came into existence. So what had happened that there was a river of water start flowing into the universal intellect. And then what universal intellect did? It created more huds below him, spiritual and physical. Now, we'll have to take this at two levels to understand this concept better. As Malali has said that you think of yourself as a small being, but you are the whole universe. So the universe he's talking about is within us, the microcosm. And then outside universe, universe, the macrocosm. At macrocosm level, the universal intellect was created and he created further huds uh, through the river of water flowing. Now at microcosm level, when we have divine word, the isme azam, through isme azam, what happens? There is a flow of river of water, okay, flowing into the intellect. When that happens, what does it do? Like, let's go back to macrocosm. When the universal intellect came into form, what had happened? There was a knowledge of everything, literally of everything. Universal intellect is aware of all the things in its original form, in its original form, okay? So at macrocosm level, when we, a moment does, you know, practice of ismayazam, does do bandagi, there is a, river of water flows into the intellect. Now, Pir Nasser gives, uh, gives us very simple, small example, and then we'll go different to different examples. He talks about water. We all know water is uh, cool in temperature. It is fluid, it's liquidy. Now, if we were to see the water in the form of evaporation, it's different temperature, different shape, different form, but we will know that it's still a water, right? And then if you were to look at the ice, different temperature, different phase, different form, but we know what is the origin. So the purpose of this river of water flowing into our intellect helps us to identify the original form of beings, everything, okay? Let's take another example. When we were not attending these classes, we did not know about Imam Shinasi level. We knew only one Imam, okay? Imam is one and Imam is Noor. When our intellect was stimulated by this knowledge, there was a flow of a river of water into our intellect. Now we know there is not one Imam. There is Imam Mukim, Imam Assas, Imam Mustada, Imam Mustakkar, and Imam Kayam. So we now know that Imam, the Noor is one, but the manifestations are many. But we all know the original form of Imam, the Noor. It's only one, but the manifestations are very many. Another example. We were talking about last time about uh, monoreality. We all are being born from single soul. Now that one soul. Now we are so many. If we were to take that literally, all the souls are coming from the soul of Allah. They all have to be Allah. But that does not happen. We understand the concept of plurality like unity. Kasrat Numa Wahadat. When we unite into him as one, then it is single soul. Otherwise, we are in plurality. <coughs> Pir Nasir Khusru, there's a verse he has said, he says that... Uh, if it were to be okay to uh, call yourself Allah, I would have been called Allah. You know why? Because in his spirituality, he had seen the original form of the single soul and how he is part of that soul. Wo river of water is to give us knowledge of its original being, okay, if, if originality, everything in its original form. Then comes the river of milk. Now, river of milk, whenever there is a milk, there has to be a child. Milk cannot be there if there is no child. If we take physical example, a mother's breast will, not, will be dry if there is no child. If there is a child, she will produce milk. 
So when we talk about this heaven which has the river of milk, a child is there too. And that child is actually the Noor in the form of Noor and Peer Nasir Khusro calls it a child. And this child has been called by him Kaim ul Qiyamat. At a macrocosm level, he says when the universal soul is there and there is a flow of the river of milk through divine word, there is a formation of this creation of this child who needs this milk. At our level, macro, macrocosm level, when we keep practicing on our isme azam, there is a creation or there is an existence, there is a realization of the existence of soul within us in the form of noor. A child who is hungry for this knowledge which is in the form of river of, river of milk. When a woman keeps feeding this milk to that child, that child manifests its original form, the original form to that momin. Meaning what? As a momin, you elevate, the first level was water. When the water is joined by earth, earth meaning a momin, water is knowledge. When it is joined, there is a plantation. Okay, there is a growth. Which means that as a momin, you start learning the levels of knowledge. You keep growing yourselves. When you reach to a level, then there is a river of milk. River of milk is there, then there is a child who is called Kaimul Kiamat. Meaning, the knowledge of resurrection, the realization that you want to fana yourself, inhalate yourself into Imam, so you can be one with him at a level of universal soul. Okay? Then this, there is another uh, river, river of wine. Very interestingly, river of wine. Now, this river of wine is being, it flows into the hub of Natik. River of wine flows into the Had of Natik. Now we all know there are six Natiks. Hazrat Adam, Hazrat Noha, Hazrat Ibrahim, Musa, Isa and Muhammad. All these Natiks, they brought their Shariat. Now when we look at the wine, wine does two things to a human. It gives you strength and it can also make you confused. You know, irrational, illogical. The purpose of Shariat is to keep people together by giving them laws and customs to follow. However, at the same times, when people don't understand the essence, the meaning of it, it leads to confusion. It leads to irrationality. Shariat has confused so many people. At microcosm level, we being smiley, when we go to Jamaat Khana and when we say Dua, without understanding the meaning of it, we are no different than a person who has drank wine and has lost its consciousness or con is confused. Why? This is very harsh actually. And it is because of Imam's Farman. Imam has said, like there are two, two things I want to mention, that if you say dua, do not say it if you don't know the meaning. If you don't believe in Ali Allah, if you don't say Ali Allah, you rather not say Dua. So if you don't have this knowledge and if you keep doing the Sharia for the sake of it, you will never get to the essence. Then there is no difference between you and a person who has drank wine and is has lost himself. right? So though you are following the Sharia, you are thinking that no, I am following all the orders, you know, I am obeying. But Imam has said that's a physical deed without understanding. So that's why the river of wine. Then comes the river of honey. It's about the hat asas. We all know that when Prophet Muhammad brought his shariat, Mawla Ali is the one who gave us the interpretation of it, the taweel. Prophet Muhammad brought the tanzil and Mawla Ali did the taweel for us. <coughs> now honey is sweet, it's delicious, 
it protects us from diseases, it even gives us health. When the Shariat is brought, when the Quran is brought, the Tanzil is there, if there is no Asas to help us understand the meaning of the Shariat or the Quran, it, it can serve us as a wine. It will not give us the knowledge, the way it is sweet, it's delicious, it heals all the Batni Bimaris or it protects us from the um, Batni diseases. These are the four rivers of uh, heavens being explained by Pir Nasir Khusro in his book Wajedi. So if you have any question right now, let's talk about questions. <laughs>